Hello, and welcome to the Discovering Courage podcast. My name is Patricia Brooks, and this is Courage Concept number five. Your internal compass is there to guide you. Get quiet so you can hear and listen to it. A little over a year ago, I started the Discovering Courage podcast based on a hit of intuition I had gotten a few months before that. I had recently been a guest on a podcast and I thoroughly enjoyed that interaction. And I thought to myself, Patricia, you could be a podcast host. A few days after being a guest, I got a hit of intuition that said, Patricia, start a podcast. And so I was receptive and I followed my instincts. Following my intuition is something I'm doing more and more now. The fact that I am in France is because I listen to my intuition and it's been such an incredible experience thus far. I have not questioned my decision to start a podcast until I went to a marketing conference where I learned so much. It was a great conference, but one portion of it where they talked about the different levels of businesses in terms of um, earnings per year and the marketing strategies that you should use depending on where you fall caused me to say, oh, Patricia, what were you doing? Why, what were you thinking? Why did you start a podcast? You're nowhere earning $250,000 or $500,000 a year. Maybe you should stop. And then I remembered that when I started my podcast, I was not thinking that I was going to be building my business. I thought I was going to be getting a job. So starting the podcast was not a marketing strategy. It was a hobby. It was a hobby that supported my values. And so I started to feel a little bit better about myself, less down on myself because I wasn't following the rules, right? But that was a powerful lesson for me to go back to my values and the reason behind why I do things. This concept, listen to your inner guide, it's, it's inner compass, it's there to guide you, get quiet so you can hear and listen to it, is based on the courage catalyst that's called set a meaningful goal, meaningful goal based on your values for this reason, because when you do, then you can always look back to that and never doubt yourself and not lose faith in yourself. Now, last month I was taking a 30 day marketing challenge. And one of the tasks was to research other people's marketing campaigns, identify the hooks, identify the stories that were being told and what the offers were. And I happened upon Garrett J. White's marketing campaign. And his hook was phenomenal. I'm not even in his target market, but it got my attention. It was. <laughs> get paid more, get laid more. So I had to go to his website to find out what he was doing. And I found out that he has this daily podcast and free membership site with resources that support that podcast. And they're all based on a book that he wrote the concepts that he speaks about, the questions that he asks, the videos that are on that free membership site. And I got an idea. I realized that I had written two books on confidence and courage and that that could be the basis of a new podcast series. And I had access to software where I could create a membership site. And oh, by the way, because I listened to my intuition, I had a podcast. <laughs> and so I thought, okay, I'm going to do that. And in three weeks time, I launched this Courage Concepts podcast series. Now I share this to say that when I listen to my intuition, it always guides me down the right direction. I might not know where it's headed, but when something feels right and I follow it, I'm led to better and better circumstances. Um, set up for set up to take advantage of opportunities that I otherwise would not be able to take advantage of. So your internal compass is there to guide you get quiet so that you can hear it and listen to it. Now, intuition, internal compass, internal guide, whatever you want to call it, gut instinct, it, everybody has it. 
But oftentimes we rely more on our logical mind than on this sense that we have. And we, in order to get more comfortable, there are a few questions I'd like for you to answer. So question number one is, when have you doubted yourself because you were doing something that was different from what everybody else was doing or was different from what the rules said you should be doing? Question number two, what was the reason that you decided to go against the grain? What was, what was the why behind that decision? What were the values that you were supporting? Question number three, how have you benefited from going against the grain, following your gut, doing this thing that was different from everybody else? Those are the questions that will help you to really feel good about decisions that you have made that might not be logical, that might be different from what everybody else is doing, but feel right to you. Because when you can get comfortable following your intuition, then life flows. That is courage concept number five. Your internal compass is there to guide you. Get quiet so you can hear and listen to it. I will see you again next Monday for another Courage Concept. And if you haven't already, please go to www.thecouragecatalyst.com and register for the free membership site so you can access the videos, the trainings, the articles that are there to help you. Until next time, bye for now.